Hello students, you have reached this part because you already wanted to know on what is a research title, what are the elements of a research title, the rules in choosing a research topic, samples, top, sample topics related to your track, research topic to be avoided, and the sources of research topic. Well, you are in the right classroom because in this discussion i will be teaching you on how to write a research title so welcome to this channel and stay with me until the end of this video So in this discussion, we will be talking about Module 3 of Practical Research 1, specifically Lesson 1 entitled Subject Matter of the Research of a Research. Basically, we will be talking about how to write a research title because that is what is meant by the word subject matter in research. Okay. Now, for our objectives for this discussion, first, you will be designing a research project related to the daily life. And of course, most importantly, you will be writing a research title. Now, in my previous discussion, you have, or I have discussed there, the importance of qualitative research across fields of inquiry. Okay? Now, if you haven't watched it yet, just click the link in the upper right corner of this video for you to watch the the discussion of the previous topic that we had now in whatever field you belong you can freely choose the basic research approaches it's either scientific naturalistic or mixed or what we also call triangulation now, the areas of disciplines that are classified in soft and hard sciences are also discussed in that video so feel free to watch that video so that you will know what are those three main or basic research approaches and also the difference between soft science and hard sciences okay so i know these are the questions that keeps on lingering inside your brain no as of this moment okay because you are now into writing your research title now, what, let us define first what is a research title. So, a research title is the most important element that defines the research problem. Okay, So, this is a very important thing in your research paper. Okay, And this is um, defines your problem. Okay, It is usually read first and most read part of the research. Of course, because it, it is found at the upper corner of your cover page. Okay, It also contains the least words enough to describe the contents and the purpose of your research paper. So, kumbaga, the title itself already speaks of the content of your research paper. So, that is why your research papers should be informative and catchy. Okay? It can also be revised any and many times as the research develops and reach its final phase. Okay? It becomes final on its final defense before the panel of judges. Now, if you have already proposed a topic and the, the panel of judges have approved your topic, um, do, not be, um, uh, do not be fixated on the topic that you have proposed because as the the research develops there will be a tendency that the your title will be revised no it depends upon the panel of judges or your uh, panel no on what is your fi final uh, research uh, title no it is the judges who has the final say no of your research title so let us be open on that matter 
proceed to the elements of a research title. Now, what composes a research title pala? So, meron palang mga parts ang research title. It's not, it is not just simply a title. No, it has to have a part. Alright? So, the research title basically does not need to be entertaining. Okay? So, hindi siya dapat, um, it doesn't necessarily mean that a title should entertain no, your reader. But, Instead, it should be informative. Okay, so the title itself speaks already of the content of your research problem or research paper. That is why it is. It should not be entertaining, but rather it should be informative. All right. So a part of research of a research title has the following information. The first one. Okay. You have to answer the question what uh, or the subject matter to be investigated or simply put the topic. Okay, that's the first part. Second, you have to answer the question where or the place or locale where the research is to be conducted. No? And the third one, we have uh, the who or the population like the respondents interviewees or this is your uh, participants all right and number four um answer the question when no the time period of the study during which the data are to be collected okay the time period where you will uh, gather your data okay so again we will be um uh we should have these parts in your uh, research title the what where who and the when so i have here a sample title no that has those parts okay let me read it first the reasons for academic failure in the senior high school schools of davo de oro during the school year 2021-2022 as perceived by the grade 11 students all right let us dissect this one no, according to the to the parts um, identified uh, a while ago, so I have um, assigned it with color color blue. That is the subject matter. No, so on the subject matter in this title is the reasons for academic failure. So that's the subject matter. Ito naman na color red in the SHS schools of Davao de Oro that pertains to the where or the local or the place where you will conduct your study then during the school year 2021-2022 that's the when or the time period of your data collection okay and as perceived by the grade 11 students that's your uh, respondents or participants or the population in your um, research title right so completo itong title na ito no uh, present ang apat na mga parts ng uh, research this is the ideal research title no ideal ito siya however today we were, we are already accept okay but also informative creative siya but at the same time informative na siya in the sense that sa title pa lang mismo ng research all about so say for example this one okay why did the boat sink the reasons of academic failure of the grade 11 students. Okay? So you can play your words. That's the beauty of a research, a qualitative research kasi. You can play with your words, no? Just in ito siya, your first statement should be um, aligned, no? Kung unsa ang imuhang subject matter. No? The subject matter here is the reasons of academic failure, man. Na to siya, sa kininga, a phrase. Why did the boat sink, no? Murag, related po siya. So that is why approved ni siya nga, like, Another example, stay with me please. The struggles of students with OFW, with OFW mm, the statement of a child begging no, for the parents to stay. Stay with me please. No? So very related siya to each other. Kasi the students with OFW parents, di ba? So approved din ito na title. Okay. We also have of chemicals. This is according to Diego 2017. Okay, so you wanted to know, no? Um, what are the chemicals see them to be alert? Okay, yan. And another one is from Takiban 2017. 
Okay, must have pleasing personality, performing femininity in the song. So curious siya about why are the the um um tawag nito why are the industries no in the cities who are hiring kanang kanang nagang criteria din ha, nga must have a pleasing personality. So muna siya iya hang gusto may balani takiban. All right? So yan. However, we also have this uh, very simple title no fair quality hapon siya in approach. You can also make this one shown kung nai suggestion ang inyo hang mga panel, okay? So ito, effects of social amelioration program, deficiencies halimbawa in Macau Davao de Oro in 2020. Wag nilang sap no during the pandemic, kung pagsugod pagid sa pandemic, di ba? Um there are namo tay mga kuan, uh, clamors ato no, nay uban uh, mga family manggon na wala na ka-receive ato. Sabalo kung unsa ang effects no sa deficiency during the distribution of of that program. Katong sap. Okay? in uh, qualitative research. Now, uh, let us proceed to the rules in choosing a research topic. So, we are uh, when we choose a topic, okay? Kasi we have to abide to this rule in order for us na, na dili ma, 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 ano no, mamali in to the, this one. The first one is, of course, your interest in the subject matter. Okay. So, I, I have already discussed this one no, in one of my discussions that the researcher is very important when choosing your research uh, topic because it, it drives you, no? it motivates you if you are first and foremost interested sa in your topic. No? Diba? If you don't have interest in one topic, you don't have motivation to be interested in the topic you want to study. Next, number two, availability of information. No? So, of your research topic, uh, topic, no, dagan kag information of kwaan, no. When we say information, um, dili, uh, it means to say kanang mga relate, diha mga kamang manguha sa ilaha o kwaan, supporting ideas, no, ang imutang sa imuhang uh, research study, specifically sa imuhang RRL, no, kasi if, if ang imuhang na na choose na topic is dili, kayo daghan ang availability, no, less lang ang available materials, so maging study, supporting claims, no. Supporting evidence sa imuhang claims no, later on in your study. Right? So, yan. That's of ano pala, available materials. No? Muna siya ang ato ang mga um, inclusion or atong mga i-consider when selecting available materials. And, no, and authority of the materials dapat na ay um, proponent. No? Of course, dili, dili material nga himo-himo lang nimo. No? Nag-himo lang ka o ka ng search. Okay? And then, it should be updated. No, in in qualitative research or um, even in quantitative research, no materials that are ten years or five years backwards, di kana karon natuig. So if we are now in 2022, so dapat ang imuhang ten years materials na pangitaon. So dili ka mag include dito ang mga studies na nakandak 2010, 2009, 2008. So dili na siya po idin. na siya og ano man ang dapat updated. Kasi na yung mga kaan kasi mga studies nga kanang updated siya nga bago pa siya nahit tabo, no? Dili siya ang action is not too old, no? So you should find information that are recently um, recently conducted ng mga studies. Okay? Kasi mas valid ang result niyan. Time. Alright, second one, copyright dates of the materials. Are they new or old? So, ito yung sinabi ko kanina. So, dapat, is katong mga supporting claims. However, makonsider ka og old if theory siya. Okay? So, kung theory inyo hang uh, pangitaon, uh, but kung sa again, kung sa research study, supporting research, uh, supporting studies, dapat new siya. 10 years backwards. 2012 pataas. Okay? Then, expert or qualification of the writers of reading material. Ang um, study is about uh, uh, topic that is related to halimbawa um, uh, halimbawa uh, medicine. Example lang niya. Medicine mo hang um, research studies nga, di mo nimong supporting, uh, kung ano mong supporting evidence nimo. Of course, this should be uh, their qualification or their expert in any other fields. Okay? So, yan. We have to consider also that one. Hindi, hindi naman kasi pwede kung if you are talking, if you, if, if your study is about kan, na aligoy ka ng kuan, um, ang specialization, ang expertise niya is ka ng, um, uh, about uh, kuan. Uh, halimbawa, about Okay, ang ihang study is about social sciences halimbawa na mo kay medicine man imong study so layo ra kay siya wala nag nag-align no ang inyong hang kuan uh, sa ekong gi gigamit as evidence then number 3 we have timeliness and relevance of the topic no so it should answer the question how relevant is your topic so 
importante ang imuhang topic class kung ang, ang result niya is useful sa society. No? Ang imuhang result is useful sa school, at kuan, in whatever um, institution na pwede ma-apply ang imuhang topic o kung asa man ka nga na kuan, kung asa to imuhang topic IT, sa inyo habang barangay no? or sa inyo habang locality. Okay? So, makonsider nga relevant imuhang topic kung pag usefulness ang istoryahan na to. Useful ba imuhang topic? Second, related to the viewer or historical research kay past na dito siya. So, your topic should be related to the present. That is why, as I have mentioned in my previous discussion, dapat contextualize to your present situation. Okay? So, para makuan siya. Makonsider siya under makuan siya. Hmm, uh, makonsider imuhang topic as relate sa timeliness na, na rules. The number four, limitation on the subject. Alright? So, connect your choice with course requirements. You need to decide. Um, in qualitative research, we will only be limiting you to two types of qualitative research, which are phenomenology and case study. So, kung namo mga ethnography, it will not, it will take you a lot of time to finish that one. Okay? So, and of course, um, connect your choice with your course requirements. Okay? As much as possible, align ang imuhang research, imuhang strand. Okay? So, um, that is also one important thing that you need to consider. Right? Then, personal resources. This in terms of financial standing. So, when we say financial, finances, when we speak of finances, there is a, a PR1, dili ka may printing and pasnak sa inyong panel. No? Kaya dili ka balali mag, mag-panel sa, sa research. No? Uh, dili ka siya nga nakabugat ay nga mga financial master or doctoral nam. Kaya nilibu na gito ang istoryahan dito ah. Also, we need to consider your health condition. Kaya ba sa inyong health? If you have health issues, kaya ba ninyo makanda, no, ma-pursue inyong study? Then, mental capacity, ang inyong knowledge about your topic that you're researching, no? Kaya ba sa inyong knowledge? Okay? Anyway, po, ang group, groupings, gini siya nga output. Okay, group output, gini siya. Okay? Para dili bugat sa isa ka estudyante ang isa ka research. Kin sa marang naa sa inyong high laptop, no, that is an advantage kasi mahirap mag-encode ng research kung walang laptop. Mahirap gumawa ng research kung wala tayong lalo na sa laptop. Right? So, kung naamoy ka herman, no, ng mga uh, friends ninyo or family members, so, um, as early as now, mananghida mo. Okay? No? So, time time bounded kasi ang ano na to, no? Wala man tayo. We do not have eternity to have this research. Nagi tayo time limit, no? So, that is why you need to then time, given period ninyo. You have to raise an amount of, okay, so printing and so on. Right? So, Yan si personal resources. Okay. Now, let us proceed. Prepared here um, sample topics. No? Na pwede ninyo kuwaan o uh, idea for you to come up with your research type. Ito nang technical. No? In the sense nga, panang maragdili kaya pa ninyo sa inyong level. Okay. But it is just to give you a uh, kuwaan lang. Overview or idea. Kuwaan sa inyong research title. Okay. So, naka-specify niya according to your track no? or strength. So, for the GAS or ABM, we have business and development. Ang, man, ang minor nila is ABM man. Okay? So, related sa business. So, business and development, pwede na siya. Kana ito ang mga MSME, diha sa research study and sa ilang mga kuan, experiences, no? tax and salaries. Online selling. Kining online selling, rampant man siya karun is marketing, sales and advertising, stock market, investment, no? ang mga investments, sa mga experiences at mga nag-invest sa mga business related na mga uh, topics. So, pwede diha ang gas. Next, sa UMS, innovative education, okay, karusing different modalities in our education, like innovate at educational system because we adapt to the changing um, to the changing world due to, to the pandemic on, no, sa society. Kasi ang UMS, like, more on social sciences man sila na inclined. No, so, modern situation, family violence, okay, right in modern publishing, and etc. Okay, so, mga, uh, basta mga social sciences na mga topics sa yung na siya. Then, we proceed to STEM, biology, engineering, and mathematics. So, um, most of the topics here are siguro related um, na yung medicine, no? Napuntay kining natural disaster in Philippines. No? Pwede na siya, yung siguro. Forest and wildlife protection. So, karong pandemic na uso man ng plantito plantita, di ba? So, why not use that koan? Um, kana ang topic. Okay, mga um, tawag ani endangered na mga plants no nga dipanguha sa sa kalasangan no and dihimong kuan diwaligya 
So, lalo ngayon, no, ang pataas ang pataas ang ito ang mga uh, barunon sa kurente. Okay? Wireless power and energy harvesting. About na mga solar panels, pwede na siya gahitin sa medicine, no? Pero, uh, I know it is not, we are not yet in the level na pwede ka makaproduce o vaccine, pinaagla itong research. <coughs> Again, this is just to give you <coughs> what possible topics you can get um, an idea from in writing a research title. Then, manufacturing for future pandemics and etc. I also have here, um, for ICT, or sa kuan section, kuan ni Goldfinch, kay kuan ni sila, CSS. So, that, that, security and computer crimes, no? Rampant na ni Karun, kay nagka, lalo na ang mga Pinoy, no? Very into social media, kuan ka ito, ang mga nabiktima, no? Sa mga kanang uh, scammer, mga nabiktima, pinaagis sa kuan, um, social media. Our privacy, no? friendly mobile identity management, or if so on and so forth. Okay, but so related sa koan, computer and technology, pwede ang koan niya, section called Finch, CSS students. So for that, code processing, uh, BPP, you can visit this website. No? Nagani siya diri ang mga proposed na mga topics and research title that are related to your uh, um, possible research title niyo. Okay? So, yan. All right. So we're down to the research topic to be avoided. Okay? So kung meron tayong mga rules in choosing a research um mga topics nga dapat na to avoid, no, in uh, making our research title. Okay? Unsa man sila? For number 1, avoid daw halimbawa karon, no, daghan gid na magigtay individual biases sa political aspect, no, di ba? So kana pa lang daan um controversial na ayun na panguha og research title regarding that topic. Kasi, um, it depends more on the writer's opinion leading to biases. Kay, mabayas in, in, in writing your research. Kay, you yourself, na naman kay uh, bias, na naman kay in, in, inclination ni mo. What if, kato yung mga pangayuan ng kuwan is um, with your bias or with your inclination ni mo. Kinsa yung mga gusto ng politician. So, hindi pa lang daan bias na ka. Controversial na siyang topic. And facts, sa mga supportahan sa mga facts, no? Lisod. Another topic that you should avoid is highly technical subjects, no? Hi- okay, kasi in in your case, magupamanta nagsugod pagi pag research, no? Nakikila ila pagi ni research, so avoid subjects that are highly tadi technical knowledge and skills. Nibawa kaltong vaccine about vaccine, no? So that's a highly te- technical na subject. Kaya we are vaccine, no? So avoid nato na siya. Okay, beginner pata when it comes to research. Ito lang sa atas sa mga topic na kali. Alright. Number three, hard to investigate subjects. Avoid also these subjects or these topics. This would investigate. No? This happens and if such materials are not up to date. Okay. So yun nga, yung na-mention ko kanina that you should um, find um, a, a research topic or research title that has quality of material. No? At ang i-consider. Dapat ang imukhang title, no? daghan, ano siya, kanang, um, Daghan ang nakasinati, ang ang problem. Not just in in the Philippines, but mga supporting evidences ni mo. Supporting studies. Unlike, kung ikaw lang ang naka-experience, ang ang problem. ba? So, mag ka yung pangita, class. So, ayaw dyan mo pangita ang topic na din. Or, or RRL, mag din mo. No? Or, katong mga RRL na, or kanang problem na, kan- kaniad to pa na hitabo. So, ayaw mo, anak. Kay, kaniad, to, kaniad to pa na hitabo, of course, ang daily mga recent ng mga uh, research studies in market and obsolete Japan. So, ikaw mag-isod pag-abot sa panahon. Okay? So, number four. Yung matag too broad, kanang kung ano siya, generic na subject. Lawak ka isang subject. Lawak ka isang topic. No? So, kas- no? so mag-isod ka. Para ka itong ganina na inag-propose o kung saan itong kapuan ha. Nibawa is kinig obesity. No? Very broad ang kanang topic na obesity. So, narrow it down or limit the subject to eliminate the problem. Okay? So, avoid subjects that are too broad. Okay? So, a topic that this kind of search will find thousands of results for you to look through. These are examples of broad topic. Okay? Leadership. No? So, what about leadership? Kung sa'yo mong gusto nyo ba? So, dapat specific dito ka. Cancer also. So, what about cancer? Another is healthcare. Nabawa ka ron, healthcare system. Ang gusto na mo is study about our system. Naku, makaina. Ang healthcare system. Asa, ah, anak? Ang kuan ba? Ang response ba sa ato mga um, healthcare officials? Ano? Ato mga nagpositive ng mga pasyente? 
or ang experiences ba sa mga frontliners na to? Ano sa man? So, you have to be specific. Okay? Okay, the fifth one, we have the topic. You also have to avoid um, subjects or topics that are too narrow. Okay? So, one food guys, specific food guys. Kasi, subjects that are so limited where an extensive searching is necessary. Okay? Kasi, gilimit na ni mo. Na, na nakanagset, nakadaan ang kuwa. Very specific na kaayo. Na to the point nga, um, extensive searching is necessary pa. Okay? Mag- maglisod po kang pangita ang mga research um, evidences, concepts, or focuses on a specific geographic area or group. This type of search will find few results or if eh, there are any results, no? So, example, in the Philippines. So, nagset na kadaan ang katong kuwa lang. Title pa lang daan ang mga lang 30 to 40 nurses na burn out na kanang magdikapoy na ba? Okay. So, what if most of the nurses are now sa early 30s pa? So, maglisod ka. Maglisod ka pangita o participants. And then, sa mga research studies, uh, support ng participants po nila or katong 30 to 40. Which is, maglisod. Kay, if na may mga studies ani, wala na galimit o kuan siguro. So, very narrow ni siya ng pagkali. Another, academic achievement of third graders in, limbawa, in, in Davao de Oro private schools. So, imong nag down na sa third graders ka sa grade 3 that also talks about academic achievements. Most of it, delicted third graders ang ilang hangkuan, participants. No? So, elementary. Kunyari, elementary. Wala, wala sila nag Again, maglisod ka. Ano, kay, very narrow. Then, the effect drought has the effect drought has on bird migration along the Mississippi, Minnesota. Okay. So, okay, specify lang hindi mo no, sa kini nga, nga lugar. And then, bird migration effects sa drought sa ilaha. Very kuwan po dyan po ano, ang country and the place. So, yan. A very narrow na mga topics. So, avoid that. Okay? So, titles. Another topic that you should be avoiding is vague subject, bro. No? Kanang kuwan na mga topic. Um, uh, vague. Kuwan po siya. Walang klaro. Dili clear. No? Titles beginning with indefinite unsa man mga unsa man mga vague na mga subjects so these are titles beginning with indefinite some etc so indefinite adjectives ang ginagamit no say for example some rem- remarkable traits of a filipino so some ayo ang mo ang gigamit ng term or several people's comments on the rh law okay several people kinsa man asa lang mga people no? so you have to specify so kini sila mga vague enough to this okay so Dili na noon magka interest ang mga readers to, to read the research study kay title pa lang daan vague na kay siya no so yan all right we're done with the the topic your research title now we also have here sources of research topics so asa dito manguha sa atong kuan asa to pwede mangita og ideas topic or research title so pwede ka mangita sa mass media okay sa newspaper ads sa press sa news sa tv radio films media you also have books, internet, peer-reviewed journals, government publications. So you can also read books sa library, katong mga research uh, papers sa inyong mga previous. Kung mga idea mo, kung mga kanang sa, kung sa ilang itong recommend na mga uh, pwede pa ninyo i-further study, no? pwede ninyo makita sa uh, recommendation na po in your high schools before. I mean, graduate na. So just visit our library. You also have professional periodicals like College English Language Teaching Forum, Miss Circle, Law Review, and etc. Okay, so if you are um, still uh, reading this uh, periodicals, so pwede sad na siya. Okay, pwede sad sa general periodicals such as Reader's Daily Magazine, World Magazine, etc. Pero karon ang mas accessible magod sa to ay is kanang sa internet na mga sources. Okay, so but make sure na reliable ay mga resources ninyo. Previous reading assignments in other subjects, okay, kanang mga, uh, halimbawa ay mga major subjects, pwede sad mo magka idea din haa. Okay. Kasi you can get clues to a researchable topic from full-time or part-time or OGP. Nalabi nung kaysa itong mga kuwanat o dihaan na narbaho na. Um, make your work experience as your basis in creating a researchable topic. No? Pwede na siya. Kaya na naging mo sa real world setting. Okay. So that's it for the things you need to know about how to write a research title. If you have any questions, DM your subject teachers or PME. No? Or you can send comments sa ating comment box. No? So that I can answer your question. So before we end, let me leave you with this um, Bible verse, no, from Proverbs twenty-seven nineteen. 
which states that as water reflects the face, so one's life reflects the heart. Okay? So, kung unsa ang nasasulod sa ato ang heart, no? Mo mo reflect na siya sa ato ang sa ato ang life pod. No? So, if we are full of anger, insecurity, if we are full of hatred, no? Mo reflect din na siya class, no matter how we keep that one, mo reflect din na siya sa ato ang inistoryahan, sa atong um, actions and sa atong life mismo. But if we are full of joy, we are full of um, contentment, um, positivity, no? Mo mirror po na siya sa atong life and sa atong words na din after and sa atong actions. Okay? So, that's it, no? That's it for this module. Okay, thank you so much for staying with me till the end and keep safe everyone and have a great day ahead. Bye-bye!